What's good everybody in the building man today guys we have the review of the upcoming Air Max 186 Jackie Robinson. What's going on everybody? I hope you guys have had a blessed week so far. We have the Air Max One Jackie Robinson set to release on April 15th for a retail price point of $150. As we speak, check out the description down below to enter in on the EQL for this from Soulplay. This is an online EQL, so it'll be shipped out. Everybody who watches this has that opportunity once again to jump in on this bad boy because it's going to be a very, very rough day on April 15th because these bad boys are looking pretty uh exquisite on the secondary market the jackie robinson or jackie robinson day april 15th has been going on i want to say for the past three years with the nike dunk low as well as the air force one low this year around we have it releasing in the air max one and as i stated before i want to say this is probably my personal favorite out of the bunch the dunk low was nice but these just seem to give me more of the jackie robinson-esque look overall also now i wanted to clear this up on my previous vids but now that i can know and i will always remember now is that nike made mamba day april 13th jackie robinson day will be april 15th august 24th is kobe day in the city of los angeles so one is mamba day for nike the other is Kobe Day for Kobe in LA. Something I just wanted to bring out, salute to everybody in the comment section that made sure to let me know about that. But the reason why I even brought that up because now moving forward from Nike's type of thought process, we got Air Max Day in March, Mamba Day in April, as well as Jackie Robinson Day in April as well. The shoe itself just brings out the Jackie Robinson vibe, the history of the man himself. One of the biggest features on the shoe, of course, is the 42 that is featured on the tongue, and that is also featured in a baseball diamond shape with his number, as well as first, second, third, and home base. The infield featured on that tongue. Also on the inside of the shoe, you have a specially designed for Jackie Robinson Day, April 15th, 2024 by Nike Sportswear, Beaverton, Oregon, USA. So there is a commemoration featured on the insoles of this shoe on both pairs. As you guys and girls can see, you have an extra set of laces. The laces it comes with are standard, just white laces, but the navy laces featured here are of a wax lace so it's a little bit more flat a little bit more stiff but they both feature the gold tips so that you can have that decision on which color you like to go with i like personally the white because it pops out a little bit more the navy is very nice as well but it definitely will kind of blend in and almost appear a little bit hidden these are 86s these are not just typical air max ones these are the 86 air max ones so you will get the big bubble featured on the midsole as well as the shape of the toe box and overall shape of the shoe will match up with the more historical air max one that originally released back in 1986 nike air on the back which is also featured in that gold type of color it's midnight navy slash obsidian sail marine there's no specific color for the gold but obviously they're going for a gold here you got the gold also featured with the 42 and it's the lace eyelet right there on the bottom 42 with the nike check and this is also featured on both set of shoes. So I really like what they went and did out here. I believe last year for the Nike Dunk, they did the same thing, but it was just like a Nike swoosh. I don't believe there was a 42. I just can't remember off the top of my head, but they did have the Nike swoosh eyelet in gold. Also, you had the gold on the eyelets up top and overall a very solid shoe that pays homage to Jackie Robinson. The quality of the shoe, the navy up here with the perforations is of a new buck material. You have more of a felt material going around the toe box area as well as on the navy on the mid panels on both sides. It's like a felt more like material, not like a new buck. It's nothing like that. It has a more, it's, you hear it? Just hear it, listen. You hear that? Now hear this. It's different. This is more soft. The felt is a little bit more rough but they are overall just soft materials. I hate to call something rough and soft and contradict myself, but what I'm just trying to say is felt gives a more rougher texture, but it's overall a soft material. The outsole, you have it in that gum bottom with the navy feature there, something I like as well. I love gum bottoms, they don't get dirty. So something I'm all for. On the swooshes here, which I've been unable to find out what it particularly means, it almost appears like wind. Like that's what I think of. For some reason when I'm looking at that, I'm looking at like the batter swinging 
and the wind that's coming behind it. That, that's what I thought. And I've been in, unable, I looked on Nike, I looked on there to see what this in particular meant, if there was any particular meaning, but it kind of reminded me of that. And just looking at it, it's like a big block and then it's like winged out. So feel free if there's some more information out about that in particular, I would love to know, but been unable to find it. I love though the way they paid the homage to him um, with the 42, with the tongue, as well as on the eyelids here. The color overall, of course, is to pay tribute to his uniform, the Brooklyn Dodgers. The other ones were a little bit lighter, or at least the Nike Dunk was a little bit lighter. This one is a little bit more in the navy or obsidian color, and I like it. I think it uh, matches up very well and it's overall real nice look. And it just looks good for this particular model, the Air Max One. The Nike Dunk Low was cool, but I just feel like this being an older shoe, it pays a little bit better tribute to the history alongside with it. An older model, a historical model with a historical person, it just blends in well. I wanna say Nike Dunks are older than, than uh, Air Max Ones. Yeah, Nike Dunks came out, I wanna say what, 1985? So technically speaking, they're both historical. But with that being said, I don't know. I just think they look better on the Air Max One. That's my main point here. These are going stupid already in the secondary market, the same way the Nike Dunk Lows went last year. So if you're trying to get your hands on these, these will be a problem. Just keep that in mind. Check out your EQLs like Soul Play, which is live now. I'll link it down below. Sneakers are gonna be dropping their pairs, but any other sites out there that are just doing their first come first serve online uh, are gonna be more than likely botted. You know, so raffles, first come first serve, maybe in stores, EQLs, those are the things you need to look out for and get on because that will be your best bet. These look like they're doing better than what the Nike Dunk did last year. It's kind of crazy, but Hey, it's each its own. If you want to own a piece of history, hop on it ASAP. This is not a release you can sleep on or relax on. This is a release you gotta get on ASAP Rocky. So keep that in mind, keep that in tune. Sneakers, like I stated before, is already up. Soul Play is already up with their raffle. And when I mean sneakers is already up, they have the picture up there with the release date, April 15th, 1.50. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section on these bad boys. The Air Max 186, Jackie Robinson. Also, just wanna show you the box. Typical box, eight and a half, 10, says Jackie Robinson on the box. Check that out. I wish they would have did a little bit more for this special release, but teach us on, you know? I'm just being too picky, probably. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. I'm out. Peace.